Well, can we just hear it for the lady that has made this happen tonight? This lady decided seven years ago that aquatics needed to celebrate the achievements that they've had. Let's hear it for Karen Pickering. Thank you um, all so much for coming. It's all, it gets so exciting. I get very nervous and excited for this event. and almost a little bit emotional now when I just see how much this event has grown from 2005 where there were 90 of us um, in the Botanical Gardens in Birmingham to this event now. So you can have Swim of the Year 2011 sponsored by Karen Pickering Swim. Sorry Karen, I missed that. <laughs> Jenna Randall. It means everything, like it's the uh, epiphany of my year um, and it's the best thing that anyone can get in their career, so it's fantastic. Okay, our next award is going to be the Male Swimmer of the Year and that happens to be James Goddard. For me, I'm 28 now so I can't leave anything to chance, I've got to give, I've got to give everything, I've got to put all my chips in, it's got to be blood, sweat and tears. Uh, and leave nothing to chance. So everything's going to be put in. The young athlete of the year, 2011. He's already got a speech. We know it's Jack Laffer. Uh, my highlight was um, obviously doing really well at the World Championships because that was quite a shock to me. Um, I went into the competition with no uh, expectations of myself and I came out with eighth, which I'm really, really, really pleased about. Disability swimmer of the year, Susie Rogers. It's, um, it's a real honour to be to be given this award tonight. I don't think there's really any game plan, just as, just simply kind of improving, getting better and I mean that was my first competition, my first international, so I wanted to just go out and see what I could get and see sort of what, what could happen really, I didn't have any expectation. And the winner of the Diver of the Year for 2011 is Sarah Barrow and Tonya Cow. Um, yeah, actually, it was a big surprise. I mean, we're up against you know Jack Law, who came eighth in the world, and Tom Daly, who was last year like first in the world and then fifth this year. Um, there's a lot of buzz around the team at the moment because all of us divers are doing really well and pushing each other on as hard as we can, really. So we're really excited for next year. Yeah, the Splash Star Awards. The winning recipient this year goes to a team called the Swim. I've got a new relationship with, with swimming. I've got a new passion in my life. I have. And uh, it's bizarre because I never saw it coming. I'm 42, and yet I just bid, you know, 400 quid for some tickets to go and watch them do their tr their trials in in March. I I'm right behind it now, I you know, and it's great. I feel very excited about this new this new love of mine. Okay, we're moving on to our lifetime achievement award. I'm so glad that it went to to the coach because. You know, it is a lifetime achievement award, and he has achieved enough already in his, coach, uh, uh, in his coaching career that warrants a lifetime achievement award. So, personally, well done to Sean Kelly. It was a big surprise, yeah. I uh, obviously just found out before I was uh, going up and uh, seeing the credits going up, I realised who they were talking about. Um, a little bit surprised that uh, I always felt a bit of a youngster, but obviously, uh, lifetime achievement means that uh, I've uh, contributed a little bit to British swimming and. Uh, Olympic success for the country and really proud, really, really proud. The winner of the Open Water Swimmer of the Year 2011, Kerry Ann Payne. Next year is just so exciting and I can't wait to get on with it. So I hope everybody has a brilliant night tonight and again, thank you so much for this award. It really does mean the world to me. Okay, gang, female swimmer of the year, <laughs> Rebecca Adlinson. <laughs> Sorry I can't be there tonight. Thank you so much to British Gas, Speedo and the whole of British Women. I couldn't do it without the staff and everybody's support behind me, so thank you so much. Good evening everybody. The Speedo Inspiring Clubs Award, I'm delighted to announce that the winner for 2011 is SLM. I'm delighted to receive the award actually for our company and we're absolutely thrilled to have received it. Um, the link and the liaison with our swimming clubs is ever growing, so this is testimony maybe to the work that's gone in so far. Hi, my name's David Robinson, I'm president of Speedo International and it's been our absolute pleasure to sponsor the Splash Awards for this year, the seventh year, held here at the Hurlingham Club which is a fantastic venue where we've had some of the fantastic swimmers and uh, coaches and everybody involved with the sport of swimming coming together to celebrate some of the great achievements that British swimmers have achieved this year. 
I am personally very, very inspired by some of the efforts of our young swimmers, the dedication and the sacrifice they take to actually put themselves up there at the forefront of swimming and to achieve some fantastic results and ultimately, we hope, next year, gold medals. This has been a great night. We're inspired by the swimmers and we're very, very proud to be sponsors of this event.